So today I'm talking about a P2272 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P2272 code? Well, it's an oxygen sensor signal stuck lean bank to sensor two. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called oxygen sensors and they're located on the exhaust and they do two things. And the first thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. And then the second thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. But when you get a P2272 code, the computer's seeing a problem with this, that one of the sensors is reporting a lean condition, which basically means there's more air than gas going into the cylinders and that the air fuel ratio mixture is off. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And when you have a V6 or V8 engine, you're going to have two banks. Bank one side of the engine is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one cylinder, that's going to be bank one. And then the opposite of that is going to be bank two. And bank two side of the engine is the side that the computer's seeing a problem with. And each bank on the engine is going to have at least two O2 sensors. Sometimes there's more, but there's usually two on each bank of the engine. And you're going to have sensor one, also called the upstream O2 sensor, that's located before the catalytic converter. And then you're going to have sensor two, also called the downstream O2 sensor, that's going to be located after it, sometimes right on it. And the O2 sensor that the computer's seeing a problem with is going to be the bank two sensor two O2 sensor, which is going to be located after the catalytic converter, and sometimes right on it. And one thing to note about a P2272 code is that when there is a lean condition in the engine, that can be kind of hard to troubleshoot sometimes. It can be kind of problematic because it can be caused by so many different things. And so keep in mind, this code can be kind of hard to troubleshoot sometimes. And so what would be some possible causes of a P2272 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is a bad O2 sensor. If the sensor's gone bad, it might just be reporting bad information back to the computer. So the computer just thinks there's a problem when there isn't. So you can go test those sensors on bank two side of the engine and be sure that they're working the way they're supposed to be working. There's some different ways to go about testing those sensors. You can use a multimeter. You, you can use an OBD2 scan tool. There's some good videos on that. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad O2 sensor. The next thing that could cause this is the wiring going to the O2 sensor. If there's some kind of problem inside the wiring, like an open, a short, there's a bad connection, something like this, then that's going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So be sure to keep that in mind. The next thing that could cause this problem is an exhaust leak. If there is an exhaust leak, it could be letting outside air into the exhaust pipe, and that can throw those sensors off and cause issues. So you can go through and examine your exhaust to be sure it doesn't look like anything's leaking or anything like this, because in an exhaust leak, can't throw those sensors off. And the next thing that could cause this is that there is a lean running condition on bank two side of the engine. And so basically this means that the air fuel ratio mixture is off going into bank two side of the engine, that there's more air than should be than gas going into the cylinders. And again, this can be kind of difficult to troubleshoot. It could be something like a vacuum leak where like a hose came off or something like that and more air than should be is getting into the engine. It can also be like a bad injector where the injector is not injecting the right amount of fuel compared to the air going into a cylinder. It can also be a bad sensor, like a bad MAF sensor or something like that. Although usually when that happens, you're going to get other codes. Not all the time there can be a problem and you don't get any other codes. But for example, if you're getting this P2272 code, but then you're also getting like a P0101 code, which is a mass or volume airflow sensor A circuit range performance, then be sure to go check out that mass airflow sensor and be sure there's no issues going on there. Because the next thing that could cause this is that the engine does have a lean running condition on bank two side of the engine. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P2272 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.